Song Country. This is Sunday Mass with Bishop Greg Home. In the name of the Father, the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Peace be with you. And Let's once again acknowledge our failings and ask for God's help. Lord Jesus, you are mighty God and Prince of Peace. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You are Son of God and Son of Mary, Christ of mercy. Christ you are Word made flesh and splendor of the Father. Lord, have mercy. And may Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Glory to God in the highest and on earth peace to people of good will. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you. <coughs> Lord God, Heavenly King, O God Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. And let us pray. Almighty and merciful God, by whose gift your faithful offer you right and praiseworthy service, grant, we pray, that we may hasten without trembling to receive the things you have promised. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. A reading from the prophet Malachi. I am a great king, says the Lord of hosts, and my name is feared throughout the nations. And now, priests, this warning is for you. If you do not listen, if you do not find it in your heart to glorify my name, says the Lord of hosts, I will send the curse on you and curse your very blessing. You have strayed from the way. You have caused many to stumble by your teaching. You have destroyed the covenant of Levi, says the Lord of hosts. And so I, in my turn, have made you contemptible and vile in the eyes of the whole people in repayment for the way you have not kept to my paths, but have shown partiality in your administration. Have we not all one Father? Did not one God create us? Why then do we break faith with one another? profaning the covenant of our ancestors. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. In you, Lord, I have found my peace. In you, Lord, Lord I, have I have found, found my, my peace. peace. O Lord, my heart is not proud, nor haughty my eyes. I have not gone after things too great, nor marvels beyond me. In you, In you Lord, Lord, I have found, found my peace. My peace. Truly, I have set my soul in silence and peace. A weaned child on its mother's breast, even so is my soul. In you, in you Lord, Lord, I have found my peace. peace. O Israel, hope in the Lord, both now and forever. In, in you, you, Lord, Lord have, have I found, found my peace. A reading from the first letter of St. Paul to the Thessalonians. Like a mother feeding and looking after her own children, we felt so devoted and protective towards you and had come to love you so much that we were eager to hand over to you not only the good news, but our whole lives as well. Let me remind you, brothers, how hard we used to work, 
slaving night and day, so as not to be a burden on any one of you, while we were proclaiming God's good news to you. Another reason why we constantly thank God for you is that as soon as you heard the message that we brought to you as God's message, you accepted it for what it really is, God's message, and not some human thinking. And it is still a living power among you who believe it. The word of the Lord. Alleluia, alleluia. You have one Father, your Father in heaven, and have one teacher, the Lord Jesus Christ. Alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. Addressing the people and his disciples, Jesus said, The scribes and the Pharisees occupy the chair of Moses. You must therefore do what they tell you and listen to what they say, but do not be guided by what they do, since they do not practice what they preach. They tie up heavy burdens and lay them on men's shoulders. They will lift up will not lift a finger to move them. Not they. Everything they do is done to be attracted attention, like wearing broader fallacies and longer tassels, like wanting to take the place of honour at banquets and the front seats in the synagogue, being greeted obscurely in market squares and having people call them rabbi. You, however, must not allow yourselves to be called rabbi, since you have only one master and you are all brothers. You must call no one on earth your father, since you have only one father and he is in heaven. Nor must you allow yourselves to be called teachers, for you have only one teacher, the Christ. The greatest among you must be your servant. Anyone who exalts himself will be humbled, and anyone who is humbled himself will be exalted. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. When I was in first year high school, as it was called first form in those days. One of the Jesuits teaching us was a very impressive old guy. He taught us maths in first form and he would often talk to us and chat with us. I can remember so many things that he used to say to the boys and I'm sure many of us remember lots of the things he said to us. There was one time that he said this to us, boys, you must learn to do things with other people. Otherwise, he said, you'll all be individuals. And that's not a good way to be because life should have a common united purpose to it and people need to work together for the common good. And that's not something which is fundamentally about individuals. So you need to learn to be team players is what he said to us. I don't know whether I've learnt to be a team player, but I've never forgotten what he said. Um, and I do recognise the difficulty when people are not team players and need to have things their own way. Uh, the impact that has on people and in some ways the destructive nature of individuality. In today's Gospel, in the last part, Jesus says, don't allow yourself to be called rabbi because you're all brothers. Call no one father because you only have one father and don't allow yourselves to be called teachers. You're all brothers, you're all equal. And I think Jesus is, is in his own way speaking against the individuality that old Father Connolly was teaching us about. 
because as Christians, the individual gives way to the person of Jesus Christ. As Christians, we work together for the common good. As Christians, we speak about equality. Christianity should not have any kind of um, focus on individuals, on gurus, because no one is a rabbi, no one is a teacher. We have our place together because of our relationship with Jesus Christ. There's only one teacher, the Christ. There's only one Father, God our Father. And when we strike out against that alone, we set ourselves up as another Christ. And for some, almost as another God. And this, in its own way, is perhaps one of the most common temptations that we have because we experience our needs as individuals. We try to look after ourselves as individuals and the terrible thing is, we like being praised as individuals and everything seems to be going against us. And Jesus speaks, no, don't be exalted but be humbled because if you humble yourself and stand in correct relationship with each other, with me and with God my Father, then my Father will exalt you and you'll be raised up by the living God. Let's hear what Jesus is saying to us because it strikes strongly against natural human inclination. But if we go with it, we will indeed find life. Let's stand and profess our faith. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. On the third day, he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven, and is seated at the right hand of God the Father Almighty. From there he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. Joined to our Father through our relationship with his Son, Jesus Christ, let us bring our prayers. That those ordained to lead us may be sincere and faithful in their sacred ministries. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That all peoples may come to know the loving Father who created them. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That the humble honesty of Christ may pierce the pride and pretense of people who think highly of themselves. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That we may receive divine revelation in all its living power as God's message and not some human thinking. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. <coughs> that all who are sick and bereaved may receive healing and acceptance through Christ and the intercession of St. Mary of the Cross. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That the dead may find their peace in the risen Lord. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Heavenly Father, we make these and all our prayers through Christ our Lord. Amen.
pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. <coughs> May these sacrificial offerings, O Lord, become for you a purer oblation and for us a holy outpouring of your Spirit through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For you so loved the world that in your mercy you sent us the Redeemer to live like us in all things but sin, so that you might love in us what you loved in your Son, by whose obedience we have been restored to those gifts of yours that by sinning we had lost in disobedience. And so with all the angels and saints we praise you, as without end we acclaim, holy. <clears throat> Heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name. <clears throat> you are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, take this all of you and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples saying, take this all of you and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, death O Lord. Lord. And bless <coughs> your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, me, your unworthy servant, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Blessed Joseph, her spouse, the blessed apostles, Saint Teresa, Saint John of the Cross, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honour is yours for ever and ever. Amen. At the Saviour's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our, Our Father, Father who art in heaven, <coughs> hallowed be thy name, and thy, thy kingdom, kingdom come, come thy, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give, give us, us this day, day our daily bread. And forgive <coughs> us our trespasses, as we, we forgive, forgive those who trespass, who trespass against us. us. Lead us not into temptation. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil, graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and coming of our Saviour Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, 
now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other a sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take, you take away the sins of the world, world. have mercy on us. Lamb, Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be May the working of your power, O Lord, increase in us, we pray, so that renewed by these heavenly sacraments, we may be prepared by your gift for, for receiving what they promise through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And my almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. The Master said, go in peace of Christ. Thanks be to God. Oh